the Model Railroad TV studios again, and we're going to show you just a real quick way to weather up some of your cars. Um, as you can see, this one in this hand has uh, it's been weathered. It's got some both chalks and paint on it, and uh, this is the the car from the manufacturer. So I like to just try and do things as simple as possible. Just have a cup of water, basic tap water, and what I've done is just taken one dab of a brush, put it in the water just to basically make some, some dirty water is what we're doing. And we're gonna just paint this water down the sides of the car. And you're gonna wanna cover the whole car. You're gonna wanna get all the sides, the ends, and it'll, it'll, it'll run down as we do it. It's good to start at the top and just let gravity take it to the bottom. So if some water does run down, that's where you want it to go. And I, I'm, I model the Clinchfield Railroad, so everything has a thin layer of coal dust on it from all of the coal trains. So this is a simple way, even if you don't model a, a coal region, you don't see too many rail cars that are stark painted like that. So just a simple technique like that just, just brings the car into a more realistic state. So we're going to want to uh, do the roof also. And we just work our way right across. If it pools up, that's fine, because you've got to remember this is still wet. So when this dries, it's not going to look quite the same, but you are going to have the different shades of darkness on the roof. But the main thing with this technique, with this, this dirty water, is you're going to want to cover the whole car. But right now, I'm going to just do the one side so you can see the difference. And then, of course, you're going to want to do the ends, but I'm going to not do those right now because I need to hold it. You can also, after this dries up a little bit, you can come back with some chalks or some paint, whatever you prefer. Chalks work good. Along with the paint, you don't need a whole lot of either. The paint, you almost want to do more of a dry deal and you just go right down the center because if there's going to be any rust, it'll start in the center and work its way to the sides. Just dab it on there because we've got the water on there ready from the previous application. You just mix it around a little bit and when that dries, it'll give you a little bit of a brown hue to it right along the center line where some rust is going to Probably be the first place where it's gonna, gonna start the rust. And then I also like to just do the do the trucks a little bit. You don't need a whole lot for this. You just basically wanna highlight some of the some of the truck area just to bring out a little bit of the detail and you can also touch some of the wheels, spin them around a little bit. Just to Make some of this, this detail on the truck stand out a little bit. So in a simple, simple two minutes, we can weather a stock car. And uh, when it dries, our roof should look like that. Real, really simple technique, and your cars will look great on the layout. <laughs>